Spread your hands very well. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You are welcome to the Nigerian World Immigration Embassy. Please ensure your documents are in order. If they are complete, or you think they are not complete, you are not very sure if they are complete, come to me. I will fix them. And please, I want you to understand and listen carefully. Bribery or gratification of any kind is not allowed. I hate it. I detest it. I reject it. Do not bribe any officer. If I catch you, I will chase you out. Photocopy is... 10,000 naira only. Uh, excuse me, but I read on your website that things like photocopies are free. Firstly, you interrupted me. See that post there? Say, please be polite to our officers. Eh? Talk about interrupt me here. See, you think you, you, you know that I can be rude, Abby? I can be rude too. I was born rude. I grew up rude. I was raised in a family of rude people. Rude boy is a family member. Don't try me. But how was I rude? How was you rude? You're asking me. You're asking me how you're rude. But when you're interrupting me, when I was speaking, you don't know you're rude, Abby. All I said was that it says on your website that things like photocopies are free. I don't want to wrote websites. Well, are you? I'm asking you, I don't want to wrote websites. I am not the one that wrote it, are you? I'm not. Look, the government wrote it, so let's just obey the government. We're well, sorry to inform you. The government printer is not working. And there is no ink. The only printer in this embassy is my, is my printer. My personal printer. Normally, I don't, I don't do this. I don't, I don't try it. But because of my humanitarian uh, uh, spirit, my humanitarian nature, that's why I am not doing this thing for free. Yet you said 10K per page. For, for people like you with very bad character, yes. It's 10K. I will just go outside and make my photocopy. You just go outside and make your photocopy. See that door there? It's, it's like the great beyond. There is no coming back. If, the moment you step outside, eh? And you think you're really strong like coconut. See if, you, see if your visa will be a, a, a approved today. Try me. No, try me. I see, photocopy is 10,000 per copy, black and white. Who do you think you are? Photocopy is 10,000 black and white because of your bad character. Thank you very much. Next, is anybody that's coming to my counter this 
this money must come with a smile on their faces. So today and Monday, I want to start the week with good energy. So please come with a jovial spirit. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Good morning. You see this good morning you just said to me just now? It's a prophecy. The way I'm looking at you, you are so radiant, you know. My morning will be very good. Your grace will rub for me today. Say amen. Amen. Um, where is my beautiful auntie going to? Marrakesh, sir. Marrakesh? Yes, sir. Let me guess. You're going for a wedding. <gasps> How did you know? Uh, now I work now. <laughs> for the past one year, all the people that have been coming here in Nigeria, everywhere, Marrakesh, Marrakesh for wedding. You know, in Nigeria, any small way ring called the most spoiler. If they say, oh, let's go to Ukraine oh, to do wedding despite the war, Nigerians will wear helmets and I'm British that Ukraine. <laughs> Ooh, we are very special people. Very special people indeed. <laughs> <sighs> now you the wed. Oh, no. I am the event planner. Event planner? Yep. They're flying to go and plan events in uh, Marrakesh. Is it Moroccans that are getting married? Mm, no, they're Nigerians, but I've been working with them for years, so I plan all their events. Mm -hmm. I see. My studies will go to me. That's why I'm asking you this question. Eh? You know, go might come join you for this your own department. <laughs> well, that would be nice. Abby? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, how much are you making? Uh, well, that depends on a lot of things. Like, we have to know what the client wants before we draw out a budget. Mm -hmm. This is this wedding, international wedding. I should see, hmm, budget, don't go get budget too. So just spend as you do good. <laughs> well, like you said, so for some clients, it's spend as you go. Girl, I know say you don't cash out. <laughs> Tell me, how much are they paying you? <laughs> well, we don't really cash out like that, so... Ah. Stop that. You don't really cash out. It's nice to do the work. <laughs> Tell me. Okay, like, the thing is, we charge 20% of the total amount, but some clients are hesitant on paying that amount, so they price it out to 10. Sometimes they don't even pay at all. Ah, <sighs> that's no good, though. People we care do. So you could just do free work. Mm. I bet I don't believe that way you talk. You know, get anywhere where you will even plan and no go don't find way to make budget inside. Don't find way to collect more money. Tell me. <laughs> okay, to be honest, sometimes we mark up. Mark up? What's that? Mm, let's say something costs 50 naira. I can say it costs 80 naira. Hey, I see. Do you know they price them? Some do, most actually. But for so for some, we just give them the normal price. But for some, we end up making small change on top. It's a thief like me. <laughs> I know say you, even though people they pay your normal price, if you could all mark up on top there. <laughs> Tell me the truth. Uh, all of us are the same thing. I know what this is. Mr. Paddy, mark up for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any problem, sir? Go for bit. Me, you can never get problem. Ah uh ah. -uh. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to collect my own fee now. You brought me something. Oh God, what fee? Ah uh ah. -uh, event planner. You want to save for this wedding logistic fee no day. I bet you want to go before. If I don't give you visa, how will you go there? I do not trust you. You want to plan the wedding. Do well, oh. Oh God, there is no budget for that, too. Oh. And besides, the clients have not even paid. But the clients will pay. I bet some, I don't, I don't want to get angry with you. I beg. I mean, reverse. Which one is that there's no budget? So, there, so, so for your budget, logistics, no day. Even if there's no logistics, there should be miscellaneous. Are we? Oh, oh. Now we be miscellaneous. Check body. Give me something. <sighs> okay, so how much are we looking at right now? I have very little on me. God forbid. Little? You did be little, Koro. Eh, I'm the major component of this wedding, and the fact that you did not factor me to that your budget is a very big insult to my person. <sighs> so she okay. Body for Okoro. How much are we looking at? And besides, I have to make a transfer. Good. I have different account number. In fact, let me write for you. G access back. Okay. 
so gamut. Who was you on that? Because this one you know put me for budget, so I know it's not that shy. Now you go dash me this one. Eh, yeah. so. Is 100,000 there enough? 100,000? 100, 100,000? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I can manage this. Uh, I know that you see my couple top my head, so you, I know you go write 100,000 for your budget, but I can leave 100,000 with you. Eh? Don't you say thank you? Thank you. <laughs> Doesn't that do my event planner? Hmm. I have a great time in Marrakesh. Hey, don't wear. Ah, this event planner work will be oil and gas. Wow. I mean to do. Sorry, I'm late. Who are you? Oh, I'm Jojo. I was posted here by the state government. And you are? Oh, Moses. You remind me of my best friend. His name is Moses, but we all call him Mo. <laughs> so, so, so because you think we are posted by the state government, you think you have the right to talk to me anyhow? I am the chief security officer of this embassy. So, you, so I deserve respect. Don't talk to me anyhow. What's the problem? Shadi, Shadi, hey. Do you know why you're calling me Mo? See, I've seen your type before. I have seen your type. She was here. But I pursued her away from this place. Now she's in the UK. I pursued her away from this country. Wait. You pursued her out of this country or she jackpot? I said I pursued her. What's the problem? The one with the info to call me, call me more me. You are making a big deal out of nothing. I mean, I simply just shortened your name. That way, you don't have to stress yourself. I mean, come on, loosen up, bro. What's your, what's your problem? You're making me so emotional. Like, ah, oh, affecting my mental health. Jesus. <sighs> Breathe in and out. Okay. Yeah. Me, bro. <laughs> Um, I think you're supposed to like sign some documents or something, but I don't know. So I can be on my way, you know, like just to prove that I actually came here to like. Wait, are you not gonna sign or what? Come, come, find Bayro. You? Most very. Come, come, come for Bayro. Chill, jeez, what's your what's problem? Don't you know I have it. Call, call, call me more. Good morning. Hmm? Good morning. Sorry? Good morning. Documents, please. Traveling to? At the United Kingdom. What for? I got a job. Who gave you a job? The British government. So the British government called you and begged you that please come and work for us? I applied for it and I got selected. You applied for it? Yes. How did you apply for this job, if I may ask? Um, I wrote a letter. Okay. Okay. And what were the opening lines of that letter? I write to apply to... Those were the opening lines of that letter? Oh, uh, dear sir. 
Dear what? Dear sir. You wrote dear sir. Oh, so you know that you are supposed to say sir. <laughs> when it came to the British government that colonized you and granted you independence, you remember to use sir. When you apply for a job in the UK, you use sir. But you came here for visa and you are talking to me as if I'm your mate. As if I'm your, your toy. Rude thing. Did you not hear me? Yes, I did. But I don't appreciate you calling me a rude thing. And I don't appreciate you addressing me poorly. You think I'm your mate? Do you think I'm a small boy? Look at me where, don't think because I'm here. In this town, I have driven three cars, all brand new, not Tokumbo, brand new. You come here, you're talking to me like I'm a toy. When it comes to dating, I have dated women like you, even finer than you. When I break up with them, guess what? They beg me, me. Come here acting as if you are special. Look, I am really sorry. I am very, very sorry. You better be sorry. You don't know one of the things we check here is character. It's a requirement for getting a visa. You want to carry this kind of behavior and travel. You don't know you risk embarrassing the nation there and our whole reputation. I am sorry, sir, okay? And I, I even like how you have put me straight, sir. It won't happen again. It better not happen again or else you kiss that job goodbye. Fine girl like you, it's so you to comport yourself. You are acting stubborn. Behave yourself. I can consider if I want to take care of you. Or oh, you don't know I can take care of you. <laughs> Uh, it's obvious he can't, sir. I mean, you're a strong man. So you know I'm a strong man. <laughs> that must take care of you. It's by force that must take care of you. I want to be checking on you to be sure that you don't embarrass this country as <laughs> me. Oh, Give me your visa. <laughs> All right, I wish you well in the UK and the job. <laughs> Remember to make Nigeria proud. Mm. All right. Your visa is approved, ma'am. <laughs> Line. Why are you giving me off this line? <laughs> Joke that you have left here. <laughs> you <piss it. laughs> okay, so, uh, but so why are you acting like you're seizing my documents? <laughs> oh, oh, why would I seize your <laughs> Thank you.
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Man. Documents, please. I'm going to Singapore. You can always make her ask you first now. Uh, I was just trying to be funny. Funny? <laughs> Very funny. Crack another joke. I'm sorry, I'm just a bit tense. It won't happen again. Tense? Did I shout on you? When you came in, was I frowning my face? So why the tension? See, you have to relax, okay? Relax. So what do you do for a living? I'm an insurance broker. No da. Insurance marketers, you are used to people telling you no. And you are used to rejection. I know they dress well, though. And you're looking so good. They can wear shoes with a shop enter inside there. Eh? And you're wearing heels, because I saw you when you walked in. That heels, you use it for marketing. Ah, uh, not at all. I'll just spray my ankle. My legs are already paining me, sir. Hey, yeah. Hey, SME. I have something for you. Oh, no. That won't be necessary. Trust me, it's necessary. I can't wait. I have slippers in my car. It's brown you. Take it. I'm sorry, I can't take it. And I'm sorry I don't take no for an answer. If you don't take it, I'm not going to attend to you. If your okay. if your uncle uh, snap now, I'll be in trouble. See, this is from sister to sister. So take it. Try it on now. Just trying to help you. See? Clearly, you are more comfortable now. <laughs> Congratulations and enjoy Singapore. Thank you. Can I have my documents, please? You've not paid for the slippers you just bought. I don't understand. I didn't ask for the slippers. How much is it anyway? 50,000 Naira. For bathroom slippers? That saved your life. Well, I don't have 50K for bathroom slippers. We have paid 49. Your wallet has me a I don't have 49K. I'm not even paying 10K. You lied. See if you misbehave, I'm going to call the security. It's just Moses! You're a very terrible person. You have no shame. Eh? See, don't insult me. I'm a happily married woman. You are an exploiter. That's what you are. My kids are with a struggle. Uh, you ever say this to you yourself if you borrow because the poverty won't kill you. Do you know how ugly you look? Look at you. Look at that ugly looking. Calm down. Hey, hey, you can't reach me. Me ugly looking. You can't reach me. Hey, what is your problem? What's your around? problem? Hey, hey, this woman. Please, 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 madam. Please, madam. Any problem? Your officer here is a thief. <laughs> me, thief. A shower, come on, come on. Ooh, a shower. A shower. Don't show me. What are you doing? Don't show me. Don't show me. Madam, please. Madam, please. Get your hands off me. Tell her give me my passport. Oh, why did you seize her passport? That she's seizing my money. What money? <sighs> have I not made myself clear that you must have nothing to do with money here? That she requested... Give her a document! That she requested for slippers, and I told her the price, though, that she's changing her mouth. You're a liar. Give her a document immediately! Me, liar! You're a liar, and you will die. See? Market, sir, see? I wish you many more trekking under the sun. Oh, she get. You, you have a big problem. You, you have a big problem and you will die in problem. Marketa. You are a charity. I don't know who was fast again. So you go pay for that slippers. Bad market. Okoro. 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 How many times did you call me? Three times, sir. So what have I done again? It's like uh, you are tired of this job. You forget that I have CCTV, Abby. Sir, no. It's the woman came here. She said she's an event planner. Said the way that they are doing that they've given a location for visa issuing officers. I said, no, we cannot collect any money here besides our salary. She said, oh, no, it's going to be that if I don't take the money, she'll give it to the rest of the officers. That it is part of the budget for logistics. I said, we don't do that. She just oh, wants Koro. This story that you have just said now, eh, is sweet for your ear. So this story even shocked me. This story shocked me, but it's a sweet story, but it shocked me too. Eh, no problem. I will escalate this matter to Abuja. Ah, uh, sir, for money where they force me collect, you know I don't take anything that is not my salary. You know me. You know me, sir. <sighs> If you do not want me 
to take this matter to, to Abuja, where you will, where you will go for explaining. You have to submit this money to me first thing in the morning. Okay, okay I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, how much is it? Uh, it's 5k. 5k? Yes, ma'am. 5k. Okoro? Sir? How much did she give you? So five thousand. I will, will I be lying because of five thousand? Where did even the last which she said me never took away if we enter. Where did where did the last? Okay. Sir, okay. Five thousand. Okay. okay. I will confiscate the money and donate it to charity. It's so it's up to you, sir. Five k. I will send it to the money. I will not forget. Five k. First thing. Francis, Francis, sir. What was that you were doing with that lady? She gave you a piece of paper twice. Um, she was toasting me, sir. And I told her I was not interested, so she tried to force her number on me. And what did you do? I told her to get out and she should eat shit. Have I not told you not to speak to our uh, applicant like that? I'm sorry, sir. I'm really sorry. It shows that. I don't like it when women throw themselves at me. You, you, they are throwing themselves at you. with your bejiru eye and I they throw themselves at Look, my eyes on you. And, and you, supermarket. Continue. Look, 5K, first thing in the morning. Sir, 5K in the morning, I will not forget. So I can donate it to charity. I do, if you like the little mother, let's baby so I it's not I don't need it, sir. I need a salary here. 